My name is Trevor Douglas, the Vice Principal of Parkdale Public School. seen any impact in your students' lives since the Blueprint program has started in September? Okay, there are two areas I could comment on uh, in, in regards to the impact on our school. Uh, the first would be student behavior, uh, because some of the uh, students that have enlisted uh, in the program, uh, I, I spoke to personally and uh, they were quite happy to, to come on board, but they're kind of the more active students in the, uh, the schoolyard and maybe haven't been involved in a few issues he, here and there. So I have to say, uh, since their involvement with the program, that that has cleared up quite a bit because they would have uh, more of a, a venue to display some of that uh, active, <laughs> aggressive yeah. types of behavior, a way to channel it. So I find that, uh, yeah, the incidents have decreased since the program has come on board, definitely. All right, Mr. Douglas, uh, can you give us uh, an example of students who has benefit from this program? I have to think, uh, I can't give the boy's name, but he's a grade uh, six uh, lad, and um, he, uh, went, like I was saying previously, mm -hmm. was one of those students that got involved in a little bit of rough play in the schoolyard, and I would say with that student, I don't see those incidents anymore. I have to say, not 100%, but the odd time he shows up in the office, and I've spoken to his teachers as well, and even his focus in the classroom is much better. Mm -hmm. I find that uh, when you have extracurriculars that students really enjoy doing, you establish a relationship with them, make a connection, a positive uh, experience at school goes a long way for these kids, and they, they want to come to school. It's not just all about reading, writing, and arithmetic. Mm -hmm. How was taking the students to the breakfast impact? Of breakfast impact? of impact. Breakfast of impact. Students love that. Uh, any field trip that we can get down to uh, around the ACC is more than welcome. And uh, they, they, they love the whole experience of performing for the audience. And uh, it really empowered them. And I think they felt like real leaders on, on mm -hmm. that day. Do you think the children in the Blue Plant program feel empowered? Yes, I, I feel the students are empowered, uh, definitely. Um, you, you know, they, uh, they feel like um, it's a place they can come, they enjoy uh, coming to it, and, uh, and it's, a, it's a wonderful experience for them, and they look forward to their, their time uh, in the boxing program. They're always asking me, because sometimes they're not really good at, uh, at uh, determining what day of the week it is, especially for our uh, Hungarian students. So quite frequently in the halls, I'll be wa uh, walking through the hall, boxing today, boxing today. So they're they're <laughs> quite, quite excited to come. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about having your, your, your leaders help facilitate the program? Youth leaders. Yes. Like, how do you feel about having people like Alex from a high oh. school coming as a part of a mentorship program mm -hmm. uh, and working with uh, the younger students? Oh, uh, you know what? I've seen a real connection uh, with our, our co-op students that's, that's come from the high school, Alex. Uh, a couple of the boys have really bonded with Alex. So you can see it. Uh, they're happy to see him. They, they, want, they want to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And Alex is uh, wonderful with, with our, our, our boys. They've really established a really nice relationship. What are your thoughts uh, around having the police involved in the program? 
Uh, you know what? It's funny you're bringing this up because the last uh, boxing uh, um, uh, session that we had, um, a couple of the girls actually were saying to me they like to become police officers. They're, they're, they're so excited to be working with the police. And I think the fact that the police woman was there too the last time uh, elicited their, their uh, curiosity about that. What is the one thing you like most about the program? What I like most about the program, it's all about extracurriculars. Um, it's getting the kids involved in something they really like to do and then they, they develop a more kind of positive outlook on school and they want to come to school and uh, it, it, it totally uh, you know, uh, reflects upon their, their academic work as well. The one thing you'd like to change in the program to better meet your needs? It'd be nice if we could do it uh, a little more often. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I know that that's not always possible. How do you find the mix of like the physical activity to the educational components because we do try to make the program have some educational components as opposed to just being a fitness program. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel that that um, mix so far, do you find it good, too much of one, too much of the other? I think it's a good mix. I like the idea that you're teaching them about goal setting. Uh, that's important because, I mean, it's one of the most important uh, life skills that they, they, they can learn about. So the more they hear about that, the, the better. And I think you have a perfect mix because uh, they're there to, let's face it, to have fun. So if, when you're doing a little bit of planning as well, I, I think it's like the perfect balance that, that, that you've, you've uh, used with our students. So I'm here with Alex, our co-op student from Central Commerce. Uh, Alex, how do you like uh, coming to Parkdale Public School and working with the kids? So I love it, loving every minute of it. Uh, what's the best part? What would you love about it? Just uh, helping kids out, like, uh, you know, helping them out, give them a chance to box, give if them a chance to, to dream. Um, if you could offer the kids one piece of advice, what would that be? Don't quit. And uh, you know what? Make haters be your motivation. You know, when people judge you, make that be your motivation and uh, keep proving people wrong. <laughs>